Okay guys, welcome back. This is Sergio for Martial Art Tutorials. Today we're gonna talk about improvised weapons, okay? But before we do that, let's talk about one subject that has me concerned, the fucking trolls. 250 pounders, 200 pounders, that the only thing they do is criticize videos. Not only mine, everybody video. Guys, get this shit straight. We're doing this for you guys. You need more protection. You know why? Because I know how to fight. I know how to fight and I fight really, really good. And I'm proven on the streets, okay? Get that. Okay, so you like my videos. If you see that what I'm teaching you is good, subscribe and let me know. If you have any questions, subscribe. Okay, let's go to the subject. Weapons and improvised weapons. Okay, carrying a, a gun is not always a good solution. The first one is, first, legality. There is many places that guns or pistols are not allowed. Like Cuba, where I was born, only cops were able to handle these precious things. The side effect is that a gun also can kill a person really, really easy. I know, you have to pull the trigger. Somebody has to pull the trigger. But in the right hands, this is the right tool. Okay, but I don't know if you're in your place, you will be able to do so. So, for that matter, let's think that you cannot carry one of these baby. What can we do? Okay, solutions to the problem. The first one I would recommend for any woman is uh, if you don't have a pepper spray, if you don't have the money to buy a pepper spray, a regular deodorant, even DW40, can make the job. If you get out of uh, on late night, you see people around you and you have a deodorant in your pocket, in your purse, and you see people charging at you. This may give you the one or two seconds that you need to escape because they will like put grease on the eyes, you can punch them, you can call for help. Okay, that's the first solution. The second solution I recommend, it looks silly, but one of these can be really good in a, in a situation that you may call for help. It's easy, accessible, you can have it in your pocket, you can have it with you. Um, this one is a cheapest one, but you can get a good one, and it works. Okay, brass knuckles. Brass knuckles. As you can see here, it is really functional. You put it in your fingers, and you can punch. Um, it's easy to conceal, but the good thing of brass knuckles is that you see this metal part that goes in the midi part of your hand. That's what dissipates the punch. It's not the same as putting a, a, like rings and punching somebody. It's not the same. That actually can hurt you. So what, that's why the brass knuckles are really good. But again, legality, the same issue that we have with a pistol. Legality, I don't know if in your place it is considered a lethal gun or if you can carry. You want a solution for that? There you go, my friend. These things, you can use it to put your car keys, to get, you know, to put it with like the gene stuff. Businessman can carry this around with you. So you put this thing on your hand and you get the same effect as the brass knuckle. You have it, you can punch, you can like use this thing to, I mean, it's gonna cause an impact on your enemy. It's really, really good. Another good solution is knife. Okay, this baby here can slice you, can kill you. But again, are you ready to kill a person? Is it worth it? I don't know. Is it legal in your place? I don't know. My recommendation to you is use simple tools from the daily life to make your life easier and, and to make it safe, safer. Remember, your security, your personal protection is up to you. Nobody else is gonna do it for you. So your own personal security is up to you. Another solution is a regular lock. You see this um, regular lock that I bought? Businessman, people that go to the gym can use a lock to put the clothing inside, you know? The gym so but what happens if you put it on a socks? On a sock. So this thing, it can cause really, really pain. It's gonna be like a fucking nuclear explosion to your head. You can put it also inside the socks. Same thing, this thing here, like, you get it like one inch, I'm, I'm sorry, like two inches, I mean, to somebody's face, bro, that shit hurts. I'm pretty sure it's gonna cause an impact, a regular lock. Another thing that you can use, this one is kind of a small, they are all with bigger, like, um, with bigger arch, so you put it here, it's the same as a brass knuckle. And think about the options, if you know really how to punch and you're really good at that, you have one good option here. Using the same principle, what if you put some stones and you put some coin? That is legal everywhere. You can be having for a spare change, you can have it with you. So 
So this is just regular US quarters and I'm just gonna pour a few. So you put this in a couple of stones, bro, it's the same shit. That thing towards your head, towards your nose, your mouth, your fingers, oh my God. It is heavy, I wish you guys could feel it. So this is another solution for your problem. You can have this in your back pocket, nobody will get question you because you can conceal this and it's gonna be a good solution for your safety. Another one is a screwdriver. I know it's a good tool, but with this, you can like really make punctures in the soft part like the neck, the belly, um, the arms. Um, you can use the other part as a, also kind of like a brass knuckle to create impact, pencils and pens. This one, yeah, I'm not really sure about it. I seen one guy, I was 14 years old and I see this guy do it to a really strong guy in the middle of the chest. Yes, it created a little puncture, but the, the pen just broke and just piece it off. So, but that may be a good solution to our eye. Oh, one thing, if you throw it to somebody's eye, don't try to do that because if they go back, it's gonna hit them here. So you should try to the eye brown. So when they go back, it's gonna be straight to their eye. And the last one, car holder. By the way, this is my business car. So this is a metal car holder. You can be carrying this in your pocket, but what? This is a really, really good impact weapon to the forehead, to the neck, to the you know to the belly I mean this part is actually has some sharp edges that you can cut so those are good solutions for you guys so if you like this video subscribe ask me if you have any question remember this violence sucks and bullies things so stay away from those okay avoid conflict at all costs and subscribe to my channel